In this video, you will learn how to properly lubricate the AFGB1 gyratory compactor. You will need rags, a degreasing solution, a razor blade paint scraper, a long straight slot screwdriver, anti-seize, and a vacuum cleaner. Begin by unclamping the gyratory head from the body. Raise and rotate it out of the way. You will first want to thoroughly clean the Timken bearing tapered surface with a degreasing solution to avoid getting grease all over your arm. Raise the pressure plate approximately one inch and thoroughly clean the spherical seat with a degreasing solution. It is very important to feel for and remove all asphalt that has become wedged between the bottom surface of the pressure plate and the top surface of the spherical seat. Utilize the screwdriver to loosen any asphalt debris from the floor of the compaction chamber. Then vacuum any loose debris. Then raise the pressure plate all the way to clean the entire pressure plate surface. Utilize the razor blade to remove any stubborn debris from the pressure plate and wipe down with a degreaser. Apply anti-seize to the pressure plate while the ram is extended. Then park the ram. Apply fresh anti-seize to the outer ring of the spherical seat. Then apply fresh anti-seize to the tapered surface of the Timken bearing. Thoroughly clean the bearing cap's outer and bottom surfaces on the gyratory head. Then apply anti-seize to these surfaces. There are three brass clamping surfaces on the head of the machine. Wipe and clean these areas, then reapply new anti-seize. Well done, your machine has now been lubricated. To keep your gyratory compactor running optimally and extend the life of the machine, clean and lubricate weekly. Thanks for watching. If you need any further assistance or have additional questions, please call Pine Test Equipment or visit our website. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more instructional videos regarding your Pine Gyratory machines.